Oh, hello there. For those of you who know me, I really like to work on cars. Even when it's ridiculously hot outside. So, as you can see, this right here is a 1968 Porsche 911 Targa. This is a very rare, very expensive vehicle. It's an exotic. And uh, it's been sitting for about five years. It wasn't driven daily since 2000. That's when the stickers expired on it. In 2000, it was involved in an accident. It was put in a body shop for quite a while, and it sat for a long, long time, so there were some problems with it. About five years ago, the car barriers were rebuilt, but once again, due to, I don't know what, it sat for a while. So, what I'm going to show you is how to remove the carburetors from a Porsche the right way. And so, what we're going to do is come over here. You're going to want to get a knee pad of some sort set up. You're going to want to get everything opened up and uh, accessible because there's lots of little parts and stuff and you don't want to lose anything. So we're going to get started with that. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get down and get comfortable because you're going to be here a while. And uh, when you take the carburetors off, you're exposing the cylinders to the elements, dust, crap, trash. So you're going to want to quickly blow it out and get all the dust out of here. That kind of just got it away from the area. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove this big air cleaner. Take off all the little clips. One, two, three on this side. One, two, three on this side. There's one in the back, back here, and on this side. So there's actually four on both sides. Make sure you don't mess up your fuel line while you're doing that. This whole thing comes off. And you have a hose down under here that's connected to it that you're going to need to disconnect, which is actually quite difficult to get to. So you're going to need a slotted screwdriver to remove it. What it does is it goes from the back of the air cleaner here all the way over to your filler neck for your fuel. So, you're going to get a slotted screwdriver. You're going to have to kind of do this without looking at it. You just kind of grab onto it here. And you loosen. It's got a uh, clamp on it, screw clamp. Loosen that. There it is. Alright. Make sure the clamp doesn't fall down into anything. Pull this out as a unit. And now, what you got here, as you can see, is the exposed carburetor area. Now, you can take the time to take these off now, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, as you can see right here is your fuel line. The fuel line comes in, and it splits off to both carburetors. You got little washers right here that are brass. The brass washers on these things tend to leak. So you're going to want to replace those. So you're going to grab an 18 millimeter, which I do believe it is, yeah, 18 millimeter. And you're going to remove those. Which were not tight at all. So that could have been part of the problem. So you're going to remove these, and the bottom, well actually these are the, made of the paper ones, so I don't really prefer the paper ones, I like the, I like the brass ones, but it'll work, so you're going to just put these right back in where you got them, you don't want to lose them. Some people might disagree, oh, you're going to break them off, blah, 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 I don't care what you think. Once again, keep your comments to yourself unless they're positive. And the same thing on the other side. These were tight, so that's good. This side was loose.
As you can see, this gasket is pretty mangled and disgusting, and you're going to want to go ahead and replace that. But we'll get to that in a minute. Or not in a minute, in a while. We're going to just set that one to the side. Whenever you're doing something like this, just go ahead and replace the parts. I know they're expensive, it's a Porsche, but it's going to help you out in the long run. Now, we're not rebuilding these carburetors. These were rebuilt five years ago. We're going through them. We're going to take them apart, clean the old gas out of them and stuff, because the carb kits for these things are absolutely ridiculously expensive. The gaskets, these little gaskets, on the other hand, aren't that bad. So, just lay your fuel line down there. There might be some fuel come out of it. Depends on how long it's been sitting, whatever. In which case, just... Make sure you're not smoking or doing anything stupid when you're working on these. Or if you are smoking when you're working on this, just go ahead and leave me a comment of the uh, of your name and address so I can come pick up your car for you because you don't deserve it. Okay, so now your next step, once you've gotten fuel lines disconnected, everything's out of your way, is you're going to want to take your linkage off. Now this is very important that you do this just right because they have to open at the same time or you can mess up your engine. So, right here you've got the down linkage, the rod right here. You're going to apply slight pressure, don't bend it, and it's going to pop off just like that. Now some of them, if your car is old and rusty, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get it off. Just be patient, don't bend it. This stuff's expensive. Once again, it's Porsche. And once you go to put it back together, just put a little bit of wheel bearing grease or graphite or whatever you want to put on it. And this one's just going to pull off too. Luckily, these came off easy. So the linkage is done, the fuel is done. So you get your linkage kind of out of the way here. Your next step is going to be to remove the bolts. These are 13 millimeter nuts, and there are approximately six on this side and six on that side. So, I'm going to remove these. I'm going to pause the video because this is going to take a little bit. So, I'm going to take these off. Alright, so by this point I've taken off all the bolts as you can see here. Um, they have little um, nylon inserts in them that make them locking. So, if you lose one or if one doesn't have that, you're going to want to go ahead and replace that because it keeps it... Uh, lock down, airtight, whatever. So, all the bolts or all the nuts are out. So you're going to remove one carburetor at a time. And slide it up. Do your best not to destroy these gaskets unless you have a rebuild kit. Because, like I said, it's Porsche, it's expensive as junk. So here is the carburetor. It is rather massive. So, I'm going to set this one to the side. And we're going to remove the other one. And when you're taking these off, the best thing to do is kind of rock it back and forth like that. Kind of breaks the seal loose without destroying the gasket. Now, I know there's going to be someone on YouTube that's like, Oh, you should always replace the gasket. Blah, blah, blah. Well, if you have a whole bunch of money to do that, go for it. If not, shut up. So I don't want to hear it. So, here's the other carb. And be sure when you're working on these to not hit the paint. And if you're real uncareful, you know, put put something down if you're very reckless. So that's how you remove the carburetors. And the next step is uh, I'm going to show you how to go through them. 